Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink, aka your favorite auntie, and I've teamed up with Main Concept to show you all how to achieve these gorgeous, sultry jumbo goddess braids or bohemian goddess braids using the I Define braid. It's such a gorgeous look. I'm showing you start to finish, so you definitely don't want to miss it because everything you need using this one product is all up in this tutorial, so make sure you keep on watching. No, I don't know about you, but whenever I do jumbo box braids, I love to clean up the neck because if the kitchen is not in order, sis, the look, just throw it away. So I'm adjusting the base of my scarf because I like to use this as a guide. And then I'm gonna go in with my clippers and literally just clean it up using my fingers and the base of the scarf to help, you know, keep me in safe parameters so I don't trim away too much. I love a self-sufficient queen, so you know I wanna show you guys you can do this too. So I have type 4C natural hair and it's currently very moisturized and it's blow dried and I like to do this for this particular style though it's not mandatory. Now crooked parts matter. This is attempt one. I really like showing you guys how much I struggle with parting. I don't know how I can get better. I almost called my mother and asked her to help me part my hair but we finally got it together. Clap it up for me. And I'm going in with the Style Factor Edge Booster High Shine. This is a high shine edge control and I'm going to be using this in the area of the parting space because this is one thing I know helps make parting a little bit neater and cleaner. So it'll help create cleaner lines. I know it doesn't look that straight right now, but it's straight, it's as straight as it can get, okay? Trust me. So I knew that I wanted these braids to be kind of jumbo, but not too large. I wanted to definitely style more box braids this time around because we got something funky we're gonna be doing today. So be sure to put the Edge Booster product around the sides of the section that you're working on and use a comb to kind of like distribute the product and then place your rubber band on. Now the I Define braid, it's tapered, it's pre-stretched, you know, pre-feathered, irritation free, itch free, you don't have any issues, sis. But this hair is very textured. It feels kind of like a blowout, but not too blown out to where it like fully relaxes the tresses. This is is a really good texture and I love the color like the burgundy on this is amazing so it's super easy when you're doing box braids but you're using the rubber band method this is a pain-free method and I really like using this if you're careful you definitely will not break your hair I always recommend that you guys put a little bit of oil on your rubber bands so that you can you know make sure it's moisturized and it's not rubbing against your hair creating that breakage and the thing about when you do the rubber band method your natural hair is going to act as a section of the braid and you know as you braid it down you're just going to integrate sections of the braiding hair into your own for that third section and just braid normally i know you guys have seen this plenty of times but i just want to show you guys like the method
and you guys will see that I'm like dipping down I'm really just you know making sure that my hands always have a little bit of the style factor edge booster on it because it helps the braiding process and the hair is like smooth down because one thing about this hair as you braid down towards the ends it definitely does have like that frizz and it frays out so you know we're gonna have to clean that up at the end now once I got towards the front of my head I was so excited this took me forever because I honestly am a perfectionist when I do my jumbo box braids I don't like them to be you know like a neat or kind of like look like you know zigzagish. I like them to be like neat neat like she did that kind of neat neat but towards the front I definitely added more sections because I wanted more volume in that area because you know I just you guys know I love my hair to be heavy on the right side of my face so I just you know keep with that with every style really and honestly to pass the time I legit listen to podcasts I was listening to therapy for black girls I listened to my league tills podcast and I also listened to the read which was insane so um make sure y'all check out the reed's latest episode because i laughed hysterically but again i'm down to the last braid and i can i can see the light you know i can see the light it's there it's there and whenever i do my hair if anyone is like this i always am unsure about it like i don't really know until like the next day that it slays like it without fail i never fully like my hair on the first day it's the second day that i fall in love i don't know I mean, I love it, but then like, I, I love it, love it on the second day. Now, again, I told you guys this hair does fray quite a bit towards the ends, so I had to put in work. Use those hair shears. You know, hair shears are pointed, so they allow you to get very close without, you know, mistakenly cutting the hair. That's why I always recommend cutting shears or hair shears because of their kind of tapered, you know, ends. highly recommend you guys dipping the hair in hot water like like about one to two times because I did notice throughout the process the ends of my braids were unraveling so I probably braided them down like two to three times before I actually dipped my hair so setting the hair in hot water is imperative to prevent that unraveling of the braids make sure you guys are careful as you're doing this I definitely don't want you to burn yourself if you need help don't be afraid to ask As one of the final steps in kind of styling and treating the hair, I like to use kind of like a setting foam. And this one is by Elastic QP. This is really good. It's like a mango based setting foam and it's like super easy on the hair. It doesn't dry your natural hair out if it does make contact. And it's just, you know, a little step I like to use and it helps the hair smell good. for the goddess kind of boho you know essence of this style i took a full length of hair and you know i wrapped it around this flexi rod you guys saw how i twisted it in the beginning so we can create our own pre-loop which is really important and you're just gonna twist the hair around the flexi rod loosely to the very end and you want to fold both ends to secure the you're gonna dip the hair in hot water you can let it set anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute or even longer if you wish but gently unravel the hair and i actually cut the hair at that pre-loop that we made so the hair is cut in half so originally it's 52 inches but you know once you cut it sis you know what that means right okay boom so these are sections of hair that were curled and i cut them in half 
and it's super easy using a latch hook to integrate the curls into the hair no it doesn't look bulky it doesn't look messy it looks perfect in my opinion it matches the aesthetic and I was nervous about this I didn't want to use pieces that were too big as the knots would look too big so you want to be very careful about that you could add full length pieces but I did not want to put any like super long pieces on the braids because it can get a little messy but I love cutting the hair and I highly recommend doing that cut it in half after you've curled it and you know separate it gently and decorate your hair you guys know I went and I went full throttle so please tell me how you guys are feeling my style like how did I do would you attempt this I love that I could achieve this look using one product honey you know I love to show the girls that you can just use one product to get all the teas okay thank you so much to main concept for allowing me to help them launch the i define braid and you know just collaborating with me i'm so honored and i really hope you guys enjoyed this look let me know in the comments if you're feeling it be sure to subscribe join the family give this video a thumbs up and kiki with me okay i hope to see you in the next one until then sis keep slaying